Hello everyone! Welcome back to General Math Made Easy with Teacher Joan. Let us learn together how to solve exponential inequalities. In this lesson, our learning objective is for you to be able to solve an exponential inequality. Let us first have the definition. 10 raised to 5x plus 2 greater than 1000 is an example of an exponential inequality. It is an inequality in which one or both sides contains exponential expressions. And the main goal in an exponential inequality is to solve for the real solutions that will satisfy the inequality. So how do we solve an exponential inequality? We need to follow certain properties. If a is greater than 1, then the exponential function a equals a raised to x is increasing for all x. This means that if a raised to x is greater than a raised to y, if and only if x is greater than y. And if a raised to x is less than a raised to y, if and only if x is less than y. And if the value of a is between 0 and 1, then the exponential function y equals a raised to x is decreasing for all values of x. This means that if a raised to x is greater than a raised to y, if and only if x is less than y. And if a raised to x is less than a raised to y, if and only if x is greater than y. As you can see, in summary, if we have a value of the base which is greater than 1, we will just simply follow the sign provided. Whereas, if the value of a is between 0 and 1, we need to interchange the given inequality. For the first example, we need to solve for the real solution of the inequality 3 raised to 2x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 3 raised to x. Based it is given problem, as we can see, the bases are the same, which are both 3 and 3 is greater than 1. If this is the given problem, we need to follow the property that states that if a raised to x is greater than a raised to y, then x is greater than y. Following this property to this problem, since the bases are the same, we take out the exponents. So we have 2x minus 1 is greater than or equal to x. Next is to combine like terms. So we have 2x minus x is greater than or equal to 1. Combine this two, x is greater than or equal to 1. To check if this is right, we need to take some values that belongs to this interval. Let's say x is equal to 1. 3 raised to 2 times 1 minus 1 is greater than or equal to 3 raised to 1. Simplifying this, we have 3 raised to 2 minus 1 is greater than or equal to 3 raised to 1. This gives us 3 raised to 1, which is 3, and this gives us as well 3. Since this is true, then it means to say that we are correct by having 1 as part of the solution. How about if we get a value that is greater than 1? Let's say the value is 2. Substitute 2 to our given inequality, we have 3 raised to 2 times 2 minus 1 greater than or equal to 3 raised to 2. Simplify, we have 3 raised to 4 minus 1 is greater than or equal to 3 raised to 2. This becomes 3 cubed greater than or equal to 3 squared. 3 cubed is 27, which is greater than or equal to 9, which is also true. Since, based on these two examples, both answers are true, we can now conclude that this is the real solution to this inequality. X is greater than 1, or we can write in the solution set that set of x such that x is greater than or equal to 1. Item number 2. Solve for the real solution of the given inequality. 4 raised to 3x plus 2 is less than or equal to 64. Looking at our given, the bases are different. So the first thing that we need to do is to make the bases the same. So what we have to do is to change 64 to 4 raised to the power of 3. So we can now have 4 raised to 3x plus 2 is less than or equal to 4 raised to the power of 3. Now that the bases are the same and a is greater than 1, 
we need to follow the property that states that if a raised to x is less than a raised to y, then we can conclude that x is less than y. In this case, we can now say that 3x plus 2 is less than or equal to 3. Combining like terms, we have 3x is less than or equal to 3 minus 2. Simplify, we have 3x is less than or equal to 1. Divide both sides by 3. We have x is less than or equal to 1 third. To check if this is right, we need to get 1 third. Substitute to our given inequality, we have 4 raised to 3 times 1 third plus 2 is less than or equal to 64. Simplify the exponent, we cancel the 3. 1 plus 2 is 3, less than or equal to 64. 4 cubed is 64, less than or equal to 64. This is a true statement since they are equal. Let's get another value that is less than 1 third. Let's say the value is 0. So 4 raised to 3 times 0 plus 2 is less than or equal to 64. 3 times 0 is 0, plus 2, we have 4 squared, is less than or equal to 64. This one is 16, less than or equal to 64. 16 is less than 64, therefore, this is a true statement. So, we can now conclude that the solution set for this problem is set of x such that x is less than or equal to 1 third. Example number 3. We need to solve for the real solution of the inequality 1 half raised to 3x is greater than 1 half raised to 2x plus 3. Looking at this given inequality, the bases are the same, which is both 1 half and 1 half is less than 1. Based on the given property where a is between 0 and 1, we need to follow the property that states that if a raised to x is greater than a raised to y, it implies that we need to change the direction of the inequality, which gives us x is less than y. So in this case, that 1 half is the base, we need to change the inequality for the exponents. Take out the exponents, so we have 3x is now less than 2x plus 3. Combine like terms, so we have 3x minus 2x is less than 3. We now have x is less than 3. To check if this is right, we need to do the checking. Let's say the value is 0. x is equal to 0, which is less than 3. So here, substituting 0 to our given inequality, we have 1 half raised to 3 times 0 is greater than 1 half raised to 2 times 0 plus 3. This gives us an exponent of 0, 1 half raised to 0, is greater than 1 half raised to 3. If we have an exponent of 0, all number raised to 0 gives us 1, greater than 1 over 8. 1 is greater than 1 8 is a true statement. Therefore, we can now conclude that the solution set for this problem contains the value of x that is less than 3. Example number 4. Solve for the real solution of the inequality 1 over 9 raised to 3x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 1 over 243 raised to x minus 6. Looking at the given inequality, the bases are different. So the first thing that we will do is to simply change 1 over 9 and 1 over 243 to exponential forms. Then afterwards, we need to make them the same. So 1 over 9 can be written in the form of 9 raised to negative 1 times 3x plus 5 greater than or equal to 243 raised to negative 1 times x minus 6. 9 and 243 are both powers of 3. So 9 is equal to 3 squared. But since there is negative, it will become 3 raised to negative 2 times 3x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 243 is 3 raised to 5 times negative 1 
times x minus 6. Take a look at now the two bases. The bases are both 3 and 3 is greater than 1. Therefore, we will follow the property that states that if a raised to x is greater than a raised to y, then x is greater than y, since the value of a is already greater than 1. Now, the next thing that we'll do is to take out the exponents. So we now have negative 2 times 3x plus 5 is greater than or equal to negative 5 times x minus 6. Multiplying these two, we have negative 6x minus 10 is greater than or equal to negative 5x plus 30. Next is to combine like terms, negative 6x plus 5x is greater than or equal to 30 plus 10. Simplify this, we have negative x is greater than or equal to 40. Always remember to make the variable x positive. So in order to make this positive, we need to divide both sides by negative 1. Note that when we divide or multiply an inequality by a negative number, in this case negative 1, we need to flip the inequality sign. Therefore, this becomes x less than or equal to negative 40. The solution set for this problem gives us set of x such that x is less than or equal to negative 40. After giving you examples on how to solve exponential inequalities, try to answer the following items to check your understanding. You may pause the video to answer the following problems. Let's check your work. For the first one, the answer is x is greater than 1 fifth. For the second problem, the answer is x is less than or equal to 1 half. Did you get this right? If yes, great job! What do you need to take note about this lesson? An inequality in which one or both sides contains exponential expressions is called an exponential inequality. And the goal is to solve for the real solutions that will satisfy the given inequality. And we need to follow certain properties wherein if a is greater than 1, then the exponential function y equals a raised to x is increasing for all values of x, which means that we should simply follow or attain the given inequality symbol. Whereas if a is greater than 0 but less than 1, we need to reverse or change the inequality symbol. This is the end of our discussion. I hope you have learned a lot about exponential inequality. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and comment on this video. Bye everyone. See you on our next video.